the past year, many great films came out, one of which was not the film adaptation of Mortal Kombat. The modest budget of the project did not allow the tape to hire more famous actors and use all the developments, but the film became the most successful release on HBO Max, so the announcement of the sequel was only a matter of time. But who should we expect in the second part? And which of the heroes will stand up for the defense of the Earthrealm, and who will fight on the evil side? I'll sort all of these things out in the next couple of minutes. By the way, which of the characters would you like to see in the sequel? Be sure to write about it in the comments. And I'll start with the most unobvious, but desirable candidate, the sorcerer Quan Chi. It would seem that in the first film we met Shang Tsung, but he was a great entry point into the world of magic. The sequel should show us Quan Chi. This guy is one of the most significant characters in the MK universe. Not only is almost nothing known about his past, but also his story is inextricably linked with the fallen god Shinnok and a number of other cult characters. It is he who will revive Elder Sub Zero and introduce Noob Saibot, one of the most popular characters in the franchise. Also, other gods can be gradually introduced into the MK cinematic universe, especially since there are not so many gods in lore. Despite the active role in the plot of Shao Kahn and Shan Sun, it is Shinnok that fans most often call as the main antagonist of the entire Mortal Kombat series. However, he is unlikely to appear in the second part, he is too big to immediately appear in the sequel. I'm also personally waiting for Kenshi. In the first film, Koen Lao was already killed, and his return in the next few years is definitely not planned, so we urgently need to look for a new champion for Raiden Team. The only question is, who can play the blind samurai? Keanu Reeves is the dream cast, plus Kenshi is one of the non-Asian characters, so casting someone with a European appearance will not be a problem. Another possible character to appear is Princess Kitana. She is one of the classic characters in the gaming series, and there is no doubt that she will look into the sequel. And the appearance of Kitana was already hinted at in the first film. In one of the scenes in Raiden's temple, her steel fan could be seen. Another possible champion of the Earth Realm could be Nightwolf, and his appearance can be pretty canonical, as in the games he is closely associated with Shao Kahn's invasion, despite the character being billed as a shaman. We can also get Ermac, my favorite character in the series. In the film, they can become a vessel for dead souls and eventually be released as an entity in one master body. Also in theory, Cole Young will no longer be the main character of the MK Cinematic Universe. His only task was to show the world of Mortal Kombat through the eyes of a new character. The main role is easy to throw off on Johnny Cage, who will definitely appear in the second part of the film. I personally would like Johnny to break the fourth wall, it would look cool in the bloody mess. Meanwhile, Mortal Kombat 2 has already been officially announced and is under early development. <laughs>